to Noise Party. As you know, if you're watching the show, Noise Party is televised at 9 p.m. Wednesdays on Cambridge Community Television, Channel 55. And as you may also be aware, it is produced by Francis Domeno. And each week we offer up a new and different show. This week's show is a bit unusual in that portions of it were recorded live at the Middle East Cafe in Central Square in Cambridge, and another portion of it was recorded live at Liberty Cafe in Central Square. And tonight's guests are The Curious Digit, The Wrong Hero, M.D. Lay at the Middle East, and then Hall Kirkham, John Clark, The Wrong Hero, Mark Shorette, Mary Gauthier, and Peter Sosna, Matt Griffin, and Nick Haber.
table, putting the power back in the hands of the people, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That was so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Nice. Spell love. Spell love. Not a joke, man. It's a real song. All right, man. We got wrecking. It's right on our record. It's on it. Okay, this is going to be a little bit
thanks. That's all. But we like to thank Magumi. Thank you. Did an excellent thanks.
Camelbell and Hoagie Gun. And the Middle East. Once again, Hokey Dude. Hokey Dude. Hey, it's Hokey Dude back in the Middle East. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Vesuvius is just erupted. 
guess it's time we're going to call the game on account of falling lava and molten rocks. Folks, next time you're watching a ball game, remember, Red God Beer, because you are your own god. Red God. Well, anyway, you know, uh, uh, the thing is, in this modern day life, let me know when you're like bored and all this quick, you know? This no, is, is, is going to be a closed ended set as opposed to an open ended one where I just go on until I run out of material. Uh, because as Elvis Huxley put it in his novel of the same name, time must have a stop. Isn't that really profound? It's almost as profound as a song I once heard which goes, I had a dog and his name was Robo, when he died, he died all over. You ever hear that one? <laughs> Maybe not. Or else about, um, well, that's all, that's all I know. <laughs> all right. Let's see, what is this thing about, uh, oh, if the baby starts to cry, put your finger in the baby's eye. What are you going to do with the baby? What are you going to do with the baby? What are you going to do with the baby? What are you going to do with the baby? Eat the baby. Eat the baby? Hey, are you and Jonathan Swift, man? <laughs> Heavy. Yeah. Dean Swift, swinging with the D. Yes, sir. But you guys, you know, uh, Dean Martin passed away on Christmas Day, and uh, I'm sure you were, you were a big fan of him, sir, and uh, as, I, as was I, as are all right-thinking individuals. Uh, yes, he's from Steubenville, Ohio, not far from my own birthplace, which is McKeesport, Pennsylvania. You see? Don't, don't, don't. We're, we're looking for the affiliation here. There is none. I'm from Pittsburgh. You guys are from what, Washington, D.C.? He's from Ohio. Oh, Charleston, Virginia? Charlottesville. Oh, Charlottesville. Wahoo! Ooh, ooh, guy. You ever been down to the New River? You ever go to the New River? New, New River Gorge? Yeah, isn't that the most beautiful? So nice there. It is. So but only two trains a week go through it. It used to be there'd be every, a train going through there every day. Round trip. 14 trips a week. No, I know that because I took a train trip across the United States. Just sure. Because I believe see America first. And I believe. Buy American, steal Japanese, you know? <laughs> so that's my motto. Anyway, uh, I've completely lost my faith in science and religion, um, so I cancel all my subscriptions to all of my magazines. I don't get Common Wheel, uh, I don't get the National Review, I don't get the New Republic, I don't get Scientific American. I cancel all my subscriptions, and now I just subscribe to one magazine. It's called Superstitious Caveman. <laughs> And the first issue was dated, uh, uh, you know, 1 million B.C., January 8th, and uh, they have some great articles in there, like, fire, bad, and, uh, yes, 1 million B.C. came out 1 million B.C. today. Yeah, no, actually 1 million, 1,996 years ago. Wow. So, yeah, it's kind of hard. 1,000 B.C. Yeah, there we go. Not only wasn't the printing press then, there were no people, but strangely they got this magazine out, so I don't know what point to tell you. You know, Christmas time, which has just passed, is it's a season for it's a season for giving and it's a season for taking. And quite frankly, I prefer the latter part of that. <laughs> you know something else? No, okay. Talk about yourselves. Um, today's discussion. I went from 0 to 60 in 9 seconds, and now I'm 99 years old. You've been right. You know, uh, the police are playing a new game, it's called Ghetto Monopoly, and all the cards say, go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. But if you have $200, maybe we can talk about you not going to jail. You know what I mean? Can you talk to me? I don't bite my thumb. God. You know, I know 100,000 songs, but I only know, like, one line from each of them. You know, like, a, I got a yellow gal I can't keep. No, that's, that's a really great, you know, blues song, and it's like, yeah, I, I go into that every day. I got a yellow gal I can't keep. Or, uh, the beat is made, honey, in the lion's tail. Good God! Walk down Central Square any day of the week, you're going to see this, a bee making honey in the lion's head. You're going to see it, stuff that's a lot stranger than that, too. If you stick around long enough. Uh, there's a song I wrote, it's called uh, My dog was my best friend So I had to kill him Thanks, thanks, thanks Oh, 
I'm sorry. Well, you, you know, I do too, actually, because a, a dog is a man's best friend. And when you think about it, you know, yeah, all your best friends kiss in the corner. All, all your best friends vomit kibbles and bits on the linoleum. And most of all, all your best friends begs for, beg for treats with their genitalia exposed, you know? Well, I'll, I'll tell you a little something I did. Um, I glued my balls together. Oh, I figure if you can't lick them, join them. Yeah? All right. All right. Uh, it was a part of yeah, hey, get on the drums, man. Oh, sorry. You ever hear that Beach Boys album with the song Denny's Drums? Man, you ever, you ever listen to Beach Boys albums? They always have one filler track, you know? One, one really terrible song, like, uh, I'll burn in my own and, and, But you're not familiar with the Beach Boys. They're so terminally lame that they're actually hip. Sort of like Dean Martin, getting back to Dean Martin. Um, you, know, you know, he'll never die in our hearts, mostly because he's been reincarnated as the cartoon character Sugar Bear. You know, it's like, when the moon hits you, can't get enough of that sugar. <laughs> so, uh, it's really too bad. You know, and another, another person reminds me of Sugar Bear. One of these days, I wish I, would, I could see Bill Clinton saying stuff like, uh, we are not going to give up until we have guaranteed health coverage for every American. And he rips off his mask and it's Sugar Bear. And he goes, oh, come on, Bob, don't let me have some of that super sugar bears. <laughs> you know, really, I love to see that sometimes. Oh, hey, well, you know, I'm no amateur. I've been doing this for nine years. Okay, but you know what? I think I've uh, just about worn out your patience, actually. And I'm very sorry for that, but I, I will close with a little anecdote about my childhood. Uh, when I was in sixth grade, and this really dates me, that we used to be able to listen to music in the cafeteria. And uh, one faction always wanted to hear Blue Velvet by Bobby Darin. And the other faction always wanted to hear War by Edwin Starr. And they'd be fighting over the jukebox during lunch. So every lunchtime it was like, uh, boom. Want to hear some? Two, gee, War, What is Absolutely not. Say it again. And that's what I feel. Hey, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. No, no, you can't. Sorry. That's all going to take off. Sorry. Oh, you can't have a straight kid. I thought he was very talented. Very talented guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? The wrong era. The wrong, the wrong era. era. Interesting. Era. era. Hey, do you got me on videotape here? Sure, go ahead. Buddy, I laughed at your jokes. The fellow comedians should give support because that's the way it goes. But you gotta have material. I have material. It's gotta be original. It's definitely original. Okay, go, man. That's All right, man, yeah, sweet balls. <laughs> do you ever wonder if they had in New York, like, like the Hot Dog Fender Awards? Like, the greatest hot dog vendor in history. It kind of goes something like this. Uh, our next award is uh, for best hot dog vendor of the year. He did some amazing stuff this last season. He did um, the New York Yankee Stadium. He did that one weekend and sold 1,500s entirely of buns. <laughs> Mr. Reggie Waters. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, you know. <laughs> I've been selling hot dogs for a while, but it's like, I don't know. I didn't think it, I'd ever amount to nothing, you know? <laughs> and when I sold those hot dog buns, $1,500 worth, <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> I was crazy. And listen, no, no, quiet, please, you know. I gotta thank my parents first because, you know, without them, no hot dogs would be sold nowhere. <laughs> Sorry. And I just like to thank, uh, you know, uh, Heinz Ketchup, you've been behind me 100%, you know. And, uh, Jesus. That's what the awards would be like. I like that though. <laughs> and uh, why? Why is it also that? Um
on, on Sunday nights, it turns gay night at clubs. <laughs> I figure it's like the end of the week. A whole bunch of guys are finished watching football. They all got laid Saturday night, and it's like, okay, boys, it's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday now, let's fucking get it going. <laughs> What's going on though? <laughs> the club's totally changed. <laughs> it's, it's gay night now. <laughs> I'm finished with the jock strap, I'm on the move. <laughs> uh, <shit. laughs> I don't remember a lot of my stuff, but that's true. I don't, I, I don't understand why Sunday night's gay night at clubs. It's just confusing. Uh, let me think of some other stuff, some, some old, dirty, down stuff. Um, Christ, where am I here? Uh, here's one more shot, man. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> last year at Christmas, my dad walked out the, into the middle while everybody was eating the Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas, whatever, I don't give a shit which one it was. <laughs> My dad was completely serious, and he walked out with like an industrial-sized bottle of that like fake Listerine. And he comes out, and we're all eating, and he goes, "Jesus Christ, somebody stop me! I'm fucked up." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. But that was basically Christmas last year. This year it was just like a big thing of Aquafresh. <laughs> he was kind of nuts. I don't know if he was sniffing it, smoking it, or drinking it. But it was good. <laughs> uh, what else? Hey, you guys are tricky. This guy's a trekkie. The first thing out of his mouth was something about Star Trek. You know what? You, you ever wonder if uh, if Captain Kirk like really liked them intergalactic bitches? Because <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't look at a chick that looks like broccoli and think yes. Because you saw him like make out with Cyclops chicks. <laughs> Spock, she has green eyes and 12 breasts. I like that. But anyways, thank you very much. I don't remember much of my material and I'm kind of messed up right now. What's your name? My name is MD Lai. Thank you very much.